what's up guys, Tom Wan here and welcome to this video on how to build your own DJ booth from scratch. So in this video I'm going to be going through how I put together uh, this DJ booth right here. Uh, obviously you can fit all your vinyls and stuff um, in all of the slots. And you can do this build yourself in £100 or less. If you are tighter on the budget then you could easily do sort of just the main frame, the basics for about 60 pounds, so let's get into it. So I started by going to Ikea and also to B&Q to get all of the bits and bobs. We've got shelving, legs, hooks, LEDs, and then the main unit is the Calyx unit. You've probably seen it a million times over. Um, and that's basically where the build starts. And because this is such a great unit because it's got all the space where you can put all of your vinyls in um, and it's nice and robust and obviously you can attach legs to it to make sure it's high enough so when you're DJing you're not bending over. So basically started by putting that all together it was pretty easy just followed the instructions uh, screwed that all together and as I say this is this is the main unit this is what the decks are going to be on and what you can store your vinyls in. After that I attached the legs so these are legs that I got from B and Q um, and they've also they also screw so you can stabilize uh, stabilize the unit if it's on an uneven surface obviously carpet's much easier but I pretty much just went round the whole unit um, measured up the uh, holes for the screws and screwed everything in as you can see here I actually use six legs I put two legs in the middle of the unit just for that extra support um, just to make sure we don't uh, warp in the middle I didn't want um, I didn't want the whole unit to collapse in the middle there so after doing this this is what the unit looks like now and this is where you could finish uh, this costs about 60 65 pounds uh, and you could put your decks on that but I went the extra mile and I wanted to add a shelf so that I can put my MacBook up there if I'm using you know Serato record box or anything like that so I got these uh, capital legs these angled legs now this bit was quite difficult as you had to work out where you're going to position the legs and you had to do a little bit of maths to work this out. Um, basically what I did is uh, measured out the shelf into thirds and then found the midpoint of the uh, outer thirds so that the, the, um, the shelf was symmetrical and the legs were in the right place. So this is what I'm doing now, I've already measured that, I had to stop my phone whilst I did that. But then I measured that all up, attached those uh, legs there and then again I had to do some more maths to work out how to position the unit uh, the, the shelving unit on on the main unit here um, again I stopped my phone whilst I did that and then worked out the holes and then went up the sizes and drill bits to, to make sure I don't make a mess or ruin it I didn't want that to to, to, to go wrong uh, and as you can see it fits perfectly so then this is the, the sort of main unit with the additional shelf now I then added a hook on the end so that you can whack your headphones again nice just sort of little touch there really don't have to do it but I thought it'd be be nice um, somewhere just to hang your headphones rather than putting them on the mixer or on the, on the decks or anything I then went the extra mile one more time and I decided to add some LEDs to the bottom of the shelf. Um, I think it looks really, really cool. I'm really glad I did this. But this was super fiddly. The IKEA LEDs are really, really fiddly. Tiny screws to get these little brackets on and then you click the LEDs in. But the, the plus side to it is that they are really neat. They look, they, you know, they, they're really flush to the, to the shelf. And they come with these little um, cages for the for the wires, so that you can stick everything and keep everything nice and neat. So then I just had to flip everything over, um, line everything up, put the shelf back in uh, through the holes I'd made, and then underneath just bolt them in, so obviously it's not going to fall off or anything like that. And there you have it. That is sort of the finished uh, finished unit. So all that was left to do is um, to tidy up the wires underneath. So I've got the the button there. Uh, underneath in that unit to turn the LEDs on and then just put the decks on it the mixer get the LEDs going um, stock it all up with vinyl and things and away we go obviously add my headphones and then we're done